smartphone is the most personal device there is. If you're like me, you'd rather lose your wallet. And yet, two years ago, advertising plans on mobile didn't look very different from plans on TV or print. Advertisers had to pay a fixed price per impression or per click, taking no advantage whatsoever of the personal nature of the mobile device. This was not very effective, and it was not getting advertisers the results they were looking for. And that's why MediaSmart was born. We've developed a self-learning advertising platform that allows our advertisers to effectively reach their audience one by one and to continuously optimize the results of their campaigns. Let me show you with a quick example what BeSmart, our platform, can do. To, to reach you, you would be amazed. Come behind the scenes and see the incredible amount of work that Be Smart puts into this split second. The moment this app decides to show you an ad, it tells Media Smart and other buyers that there's going to be an impression available for sale. We'll be informed that you're in the Glam Life app, that your device supports rich media formats, and that you're using Wi Fi connection, along with your user ID, router's IP address, geographical coordinates, and other info. We will validate that data and process it to obtain even more. We'll infer, for example, that your phone is an Android with version 4.3, that you're in France and that it's Tuesday at 5.45 p.m. We'll then check if your user ID is already in our system. Let's imagine it is. In that case, we may know that you have shown prior interest in beauty products, that your mobile operator is orange, and that you're a female. We'll then look into our ad server for compatible campaigns. In this case, those targeted to iPhones, SFR users, or outside of France, for example, will be discarded. Let's say the campaign chosen is for an airline app whose goal is for users to search for flights. We will check the number of impressions, clicks, and flight searches the campaign has generated so far for each of the variables associated to this offer. In this case, we will check the campaign performance in the publisher Glam Life in France orange female users with Android phones, and so on. You get the idea. With this data, we will calculate the probability of this potential impression turning into a flight search and set a price for our bid, which will be based on that probability and the price configured in our system for that campaign. We will then make our bid, and if we are the highest bidder, we will win and you will see our ad. Finally, and for future campaigns, we will include in your user profile the fact that you're interested in gossip news and if you interact with the ad in traveling. And this was just one ad impression offered. BeSmart can process more than 8,000 ad requests like this every single second. Now that you've seen the back end of MediaSmart, let's take a quick look at the front end. There is a very easy to use web interface where you configure the multiple settings of a campaign, including segmentation and pricing, and a reporting interface that allows you to analyze the results of each campaign in detail, drilling down by each of the variables in the system. This way, there is always a human eye that can look over what the algorithm is doing. This is where mobile advertising is going, and there's a big market opportunity. Global mobile advertising is expected to be worth around 28 billion euro by 2016, even if we just wanted to focus on the low-hanging fruit, just mobile display, top five countries in Europe plus Latin America, we'd still be looking at 2.1 billion to go after. And MediaSmart is best positioned to grab that opportunity. Let me just give you three of the reasons why. We were first to market, and we've established partnerships with most of the players in the global scene. Um, that gives us access to virtually all of the mobile optimized inventory that is available via real-time bidding today. Our platform works. Um, it's not something we've coded in a lab. It's been actually running campaigns for over a year and a half now, uh, and it continues to evolve to real market requirements. Proof that it works is not only our long list of advertisers, but the fact that more than 80% of the revenue we've generated this year comes from recurring advertisers. And Unlike many players coming from the PC environment, we count on a team with a lot of experience in the mobile space uh, who know all its differences, which are many. 
Our business plan is based on charging advertisers and agencies, and we can do so in two ways. We can either um, charge a fixed price, and we make money by uh, getting the media at a lower price than we get paid, or we can work on a software as a service model, in which case the advertiser or the agency pays us a percentage of the media cost as a service fee. This is no longer just the future of mobile advertising, but it's already the present. And I'm sure I can convince you MediaSmart has what it takes to be a great investment opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why don't you come on over here and, and uh, not forget my phone. Not, don't forget your phone. And uh, open up to questions. Just to make, just to make sure I understand, so you're, you're a, a mobile DSP, right? Yes. So enabling uh, real-time bidding. OK. And um, uh, how much is product, how much is services, or is that entirely product? I mean, are you an agency or are you a technology provider? We've developed the technology from scratch, so it is our technology. But uh, when we started, we, I, I was saying we, we uh, founded the company in January 2012, two years ago. Uh, but it's in June 2012 when we launched our first campaigns. And we started in the Spanish market working more as a service. So advertisers would work with us as if we were an agency or an ad network, if you will, and we would use our platform to optimize the campaigns for them. It's late, um, about a year after that, we started offering a software as a service model in which agencies mostly can already use our technology to run uh, the campaigns themselves as they, if they want to. I, I still need a clarification as well yeah. because we, we know the mobile, the DSP market for a while, right? Mm -hmm. it's, and I haven't seen something that's not, you know, already is what I know people are doing in this space. Mm -hmm. So what is unique? What is unique in what you do? Yeah. If you compare us specially, specifically with mobile DSPs, and we can talk about you know, DSPs from the PC environment, I think what's different is, well, first, our reach, because we've been in the market since mobile RTV started, which was about January, February 2012. Well, mostly in Spain, but, right? No, no, we, our, our uh, agreements with that exchanges are global, so we have access to global inventory. But I would say our algorithm is uh, pretty unique, or at least that's what, getting from, that's what we're getting as feedback from the market in two ways. First, in that in order to make bidding decisions, it takes into account post-click events, so it does predictive targeting. And it also uses um, audience profiling for that optimization. And those audiences, we create ourselves through behavioral, um, uh, with our campaigns, behavioral um, information. And then what is important on top of the algorithm itself is the fact that it's been proven. We know that when we work with big data, you know, it doesn't matter uh, as much what do you do, but how you do it. Uh, we can have a very smart algorithm, but if it takes more than 100 milliseconds to make the right decision, then uh, you know, that decision is not worth it. So we've, we've shown through real campaigns that we can manage big data to improve a campaign's results. I think uh, the question on differentiation is the, the key one there because yep. the ad tech uh, value chain is so complicated yes. and there are so many companies doing, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of, everybody's sort of saying they do yeah. something similar. So if, um, if I was to look at a sort of comparison for a benchmark of someone doing something similar on the desktop, it would mm -hmm. be what kind of companies? That you would have, and, and it's a good way to finish the, the answer to the previous question, there are DSPs that have been working in the, in the PC environment. And many of them do some of the things uh, we're, we're saying, predictive targeting and audience building. Uh, but when you look at the mobile space, there are certain differences, both at a technical level and at a commercial level. First, at a technical level, you don't have cookies in the application environment. And even if in the mobile web environment, uh, you know, they don't work as well. So technologically, all your attribution systems and uh, you know, the way you track users is different. And then uh, at a commercial level, um, campaigns that work on PCs don't actually work on mobile. It's a different context. Yeah, no, my question is more, who would be your kind who of benchmark? Be, so uh, so any DSP that comes from the digital space, uh, Turn, Media Math, you know, all these companies, uh, do have similar technologies uh, or that, you know, do the same, but on the PC environment. So, okay, so, okay. And so I, I believe that most of them have, you know, everyone has been reading the news for the last few uh -huh. years. Uh, and I think that, you know, tablets and mobile is where probably most of the people that you, 
You talked about the PC players. I think most of them are there. They're not. Uh... Yeah, and, and I agree. And all of them say they have mobile. There's no, you, you have to say you have mobile today. I mean, if not. Uh, but what we, what we see again when we talk to agencies in the marketplace is that they do handle pretty well mobile web, which works with cookies and the way they're used to. But then within applications, doing what we do, and again, it's feedback we get from the market, it's pretty unique. I'm not saying they cannot do it. I think our main uh, barriers to entry in the, in the end are a question of time and resources, right? And that's why we need to do what we do effectively, well, and scale quickly. So you've been at this for two years now. So any idea of uh, size? What kind of, um, what can you tell us about the, the business? Uh, in terms of people, we're 11 people right now. And uh, we've been generating revenue for about a year and a half. Uh, let's say we're close to the million dollar mark for this year. Okay. okay. Further questions? Euro, here? sorry. I was speaking dollars. Million, million euro? All right. So 1.39 million, I think, is the last exchange rate I saw. Excellent. Any other questions before we wrap up? I think we all sort of circle around this, this general idea of trying to find something that would be like an unfair advantage of some sort. I mean, is that if it's so the technology may be one, but are you, while understanding you have global reach, uh, would you be focusing on certain areas of, of Europe or having mm -hmm. special relationship with agencies that the other guys don't have, something like this? Yes. Uh, so far, our team was based in Madrid, and, and that's where we were focused, although we've been reactive to campaigns and we've launched campaigns internationally, but we haven't been doing sales locally in other countries. But we've recently signed partnerships more using the software as a service model to expand in other, in other areas. Great. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for being with us. And uh, again, congratulations on being a finalist. Thanks. See you. And we'll look forward to seeing you out in the stands. Thanks.